Hello guys, welcome back. Remember the days in the 80s and 90s of the point-click 2D adventure games that you used to play? You know, the games where, you know, every little place you went, you clicked everything because you didn't know if anything would be there. Games that were more imaginative, less than realistic, where, you know, things that didn't seem in place were there, like an alien in a place or a clown or something like that. The games that were creative and imaginative, unlike today. Well, two guys in that realm you should know, Ron Gilbert and Gary Widnick, have done a Kickstarter for their new 2D point-click adventure game. The joke of the trailer is trying to take you back to 1987 because their lofty goal for this game is basically to make a true spiritual successor to Maniac Mansion and Monkey Island. Two games that a lot of people absolutely love. Obviously, Monkey Island was a series, and uh, very you know a lot of people love those games. Maniac Mansion, of course, NES, and uh, computer and stuff, and a lot of people had played those games. Well... They start this Kickstarter uh, for their new game called Thimbleweed Park. Uh, all you see in the trailer is basically the graphic style of the game, the you know the the old 2D point-click adventure interface, you know, look at or the, the usual little stuff they used to have in the old school games. Obviously, uh, graphically obviously a little bit upresed, but yet still old school graphics. Uh, again, this game is set to to ship on August 2016. Uh, basically, just to get a basic digital copy of the game is 20 bucks. If you want an actual like box copy and all this other stuff, uh, I believe the Kickstarter it's 150 dollars. So again, depending on how you want to play it, this will be available for obviously uh, all computers, Windows, Mac, Linux. So if you're looking for that type of game on a computer, this game uh, is the game for you. They're already at 150 percent of their 375 thousand dollar goal uh, on Kickstarter and so it just depends if you want to play a game like this on PC or not again old style 2d point click adventure now the argument people are gonna make is simple Kickstarter some of the shine has come off Kickstarter in recent years not as many people are, are donating as, as used to and would the people who would actually buy this game be actually scared away from actually donating to it that's an honest answer I do not know I do think the game but 28 days left is going to probably reach its goal. But that just waits to be seen. So, if you're a fan of old school 2D point and click adventure games, you definitely got to check it. Again, I think it's really cool. Uh, I liked Maniac Mansion a lot. Monkey Island's another cool game I've, I've put, messed around with in the past. And it, I do think it's cool that games like this come back around. Now, the argument is made how come a game like this is going to be released on the consoles because the big game developers aren't going to release this. Even digitally on the systems which kind of makes no sense because you think a game like this would have very little overhead right and you release it digitally on the consoles you know with little overhead it, and the fans who love it would get a hold of it they're more than likely going to buy it right it, it may, this is where we have the disconnect right now I think in gaming between the, the publishers and the video game fans I mean I get a full retail copy release of a game like this probably isn't feasible right now because we're starting a new generation and every generation there's a transition from genres of what the popular gameplay is during the PlayStation 1 era RPGs were king last generation you know shooters were king like Call of Duty and Battlefield what's the transition gonna be this generation it almost it happens every generation where we have a transition who knows what that's gonna be and uh, uh, to me, I'm still amazed that game developers don't have really small teams just making really small games to release digitally that people would buy it. I mean, Strider from Capcom was, despite what they'll never say it, but it was a successful game for them because a lot of people bought the game. Games like this could be successful. This is, digital allows developers to bring back the old game and series for people who love it without very much cost or because they're not making a physical copy. Uh, I'm just wondering how much longer before the developers start to see this. I mean, with all these developers kind of like, you know, Capcom stuff kind of muddling around and just can't get it all together financially, you would think doing something like this, a couple games like this or something digitally would could help them out anyway. So what do you think about this game? Would you, would you donate to it? Are you interested in it? Or even though you like it, you would not back a Kickstarter due to the fact you just don't like paying for a game before it actually comes out that you'd rather have a physical you know knowing the game's out before you actually would give money to it
Love to hear your guys' opinions like always, and I'll make another video soon. Later.